Oh, Mr. Uh, Rigby, welcome. Feel free to call me Eddie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of nervous about this. No need to be nervous, Ed. Uh, maybe I should give you a little backstory on the old uh, DAC before we begin. I'd like that a lot. Well, we were founded in the 60s to copyright iconic creative acts of amatory achievement, like teabagging or uh, the Lucky Pierre, for example. You heard of that one? Yeah, I've heard of it. Three men are in bed and they're laying on their side. The first man inserts his penis into the anus of the man in the middle who inserts his penis into the rectum of the third man. And then they make love. It's like a penis sandwich, if you will. So the one in the middle, he is penetrating as he's being penetrated, and hence he is Lucky Pierre. Pierre. That's right. Those French guys always ahead of the game. So, Ed, what have you got for us today? And please, don't be shy. You're pretty hard to shock. <laughs> okay, well, first off, I had this idea called the Heagle Beagle. Interesting. Go on. It's basically just making love from behind to the actress Catherine Heagle. Penetrating the actress Catherine Heagle in the doggy position? Well, uh, I'm sorry, this one is not working for me. The pronunciation, I believe, is Heigl, not Heagle. Oh. So your central rhyme, it doesn't fly. Damn it! Really thought it was Heagle. I'm sorry, Ed. I know it can be disappointing, but I'm sure a guy like you, you've got more in the hopper. What do you have? Okay, how about this one? I like to call it the butterfly enclosure. Ooh, now that sounds classy. How's it go? Two women sit on my face. Uh huh. They're unclothed. I mean, at least you know from the waist down. And it helps if they're of fairly heavy builds. Then each one of them carefully rests their labia on my forehead. Then both girls quickly clench and unclench their pelvic muscles. That creates an effect with the vaginal lips akin to the fluttering of a butterfly's wings. And of course, they're big girls. You know, I'm trapped underneath, so that's the enclosure, the butterfly enclosure. So, it will. <clears throat> what do you think? You know what, Ed? I like it. Yes! I mean, it has a sort of literary quality. It sounds like D.H. Lawrence or something. I agree. We have a lot of face-sitting stuff, but nothing quite like this. I think we're good to go. Oh, thank you guys so much. Congratulations, Ed. And hey, thank you for coming by. Great idea. Hey, Mom. They liked it. <laughs> oh, did you see his little face? Like Christmas. Well, I can tell you that I'm going to call my friend Cecile this weekend, and she and Mr. Davis and I are going to get together and try that out. Oh, it's a doozy. It certainly is. <laughs> Next!